Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to do is show you how we go about finding a percentage of a quantity. This is a technique that you're going to meet time and time again. And what I'm going to do is show you how we can work out problems using a calculator. There's other techniques, non-calculator techniques, but we'll just assume that you're going to use a calculator for this. So I'm going to assume that you've looked at the first video in this series where we looked at what particular percentages were. Now, suppose we had an easy example, like 50% say of 300. It could be say 300 pounds or 300 dollars or 300 kilograms and so on. So we've got here a percentage of a quantity. And to work this out, 50% is 50 out of 100. And we write it like that. And we've got of 300. Now, 50 out of 100 is a half. You can divide top and bottom by 50. 50 into 50 goes 1, 50 into 100 goes twice. Generally, most people seem to know what 50% is. They remember it as a half. So here we've got a nice easy one, half of 300. We've just got to divide 300 by 2. And if you do that, half of 300 is going to be 150. Now if we take another common percentage, say 25%. Suppose we're asked to work out 25% of another quantity. Let's say it's 40 kilograms. So for this, 25% is 25 out of 100. And then we've got of 40. And we can cancel this down to a common fraction. 25 goes into 25 once and it goes into 100 four times. So 25% we see as a quarter. So a quarter of 40 means that all we've got to do is divide 40 by 4. And if you divide 40 by 4, then you get 10. In this case, it will be 10 kilograms. We'll do one more easy percentage. This is a common one. 10% of a quantity. Let's say 10% of a distance now. Say 362 metres. For this, it will be 10 out of 100, 10 hundredths of 362. Well, 10%, 10 hundredths, this reduces to a nice fraction. 10 into 10 goes 1, and 10 into 100 goes 10 times. So 10% is 1 tenth. So we've got 362 to be divided by 10. You could do it on a calculator, but when dividing by 10, it's very easy. You just move the decimal point, which is taken to be at the end here, back one place. So you get 36.2. And that would be meters. Now, it's all very well doing the problems that we've just done here. These are nice, easy percentages. We should be familiar with what they represent. But let's suppose we get something that's a little bit more awkward. Suppose we have, for instance, 26% this time. 26% of a quantity, and that quantity is, say, 43 kilograms. This is not something that looks familiar. So how do I work this kind of sum out? Well, we know that 26% represents 26 divided by 100, 26 out of 100. And then we've got of. Now, the word of in mathematics is changed to timesing. Okay, might think of two of three, two lots of three, which is six. So you can see we times. So we're using the word of here and we multiply in place of the word of. So all of these could be worked out by multiplying. We'll return back to this in a minute. So for this one, 26% of becomes 26 divided by 100 
times the quantity that we've got here, 43. Now, to do this on a calculator is very straightforward. All we've got to do, and we'll bring up a calculator, so all we need to do is create the fraction and then on the top of the fraction enter 26. We'll send the cursor down, so we'll just push down and underneath we'll put 100. And then we'll move the cursor out and put times and then 43. And by pressing equals we get the answer 559 over 50. But we want this as, say, a decimal, so we can change this to a decimal by pressing this button here. And we get 11.18. Now, it's not the only way of getting that answer, 11.18. Another way is to realise that 26 divided by 100 is the same as 0.26. That's a point that we discussed in the previous video. And... We've now got multiplied by 43. If we go back to the calculator, you can see that if we were to do 26 divided by 100 and press equals, okay, it's given it as a fraction in its lowest terms, but we could turn that fraction to a decimal and it comes out as 0.26. And then if we times that by 43, we get a fraction again, 559 over 50. But by pressing it, this button here and converting it to a decimal, you see we get 11.18. So whichever method you use, it's 11.18 kilograms. Now this method works equally well even on these easier ones, just in case you're having problems. When it comes to 50% of 300, just type into your calculator 0 0.50 instead of 50%. 0 0.50 times 300. You don't even have to type in 0 0.50. You can just type in 0 0.5. It's the same thing, times 300 you'll find you get 150. And for this one, if we do 0 0.25 times 40, you get 10 kilograms. And for this one, 10% of 362, all you need to do is enter into your calculator 0 0.10 times 362, or even 0 0.1 times 362, it will still give you 36.2. Now I've got a couple more examples which I'd encourage you to have a go at. We've got here 53% of 305 and in this one 6% of 58. So just give you a moment to pause the video, do have a go and when you come back Either fast forward just to check out your answers or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, first of all, with 53% of 305, remember then that this is 53 out of 100 and it's of, so it's times 305. And we can think of 53 divided by 100 as 0.53. It's up to you whether you decide to enter this into your calculator or just change it to 0.53 times 305. And if you do that sum, you'll find you end up with 161.65. So for instance, if this was 53% of 305 pounds, it'd be 161 pounds, 65 pence. Next one, 6% of 58. I chose this one purely because we've got a single digit here as opposed to these other examples where we've got two digits. So it doesn't really change things. It's just going to be 6 divided by 100 or 6 out of 100, 6 hundredths of to times the quantity 58. 
and again you can enter this into your calculator as you see it 6 divided by 100 times 58 or 6 divided by 100 is the same as 0.06 you have to move the point back two places if you're going to do it in your head 0.06 then times 58 whatever way you do it though work that out on your calculator you should find you get 3.48 okay so I hope that's given you some idea of how to calculate a percentage of a quantity We'll be returning to this later when I talk to you about increasing or decreasing a quantity by a given percentage. Now one other method that you need to learn is how to convert something to a percentage. Say a test mark or a profit or loss to a percentage. And I'll be covering this in a later video. So I hope you'll join me there.